Hello, math makers. Thank you for showing up and joining me again today. You are making math easier just by being here today. Today, I want to look some more at subtraction. Um, we're going to look at adding up to subtract on an open number line. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, haven't we talked about an open number line before? We have. We uh, learned previously how to subtract on an open number line. This time, we're going to look at how to add on an open number line. Now, again, most of you think of a number line like this with a bunch of numbers on it. And we say, hey, that's a number line. I can see numbers. But we're using that line again with no numbers on it. Is that a number line? It doesn't look like one. It is a number line. Or at least it can be. It can be a special kind of number line called an open number line. So. Today, what we're going to look at is adding up to subtract on an open number line. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's look at our first equation, 41 minus 28. Now, unlike before, we would put 41 down here. But when we're adding up, we're going to start with a smaller number. So we're going to put it down here on the left. So on this question, we'd put 28. And the reason we put it on the left is because when we add, we move to the right. So our numbers get smaller to bigger. And we're adding from a smaller number to a bigger number, which is why we're going to um, start down here. So let's start adding to get up to 41. Now, before I get started adding, I want to go ahead and tell you what I want to do is I want to get to our tens. So if I think about my tens, I can think 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. We know how to count by tens. So when we're counting by tens, what comes after 20? 30. So I'm in the 20s. I want to work my way up to 30. So I'm going to add by ones till I get to 30. Let's start adding. If I add one one, I get 29. Another one, I got 30. I just landed on one of my tens. And I'm trying to get to 40. And you know what? I know because I've counted by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40. 40 comes after 30. So I'm going to add a 10 and I'm going to get 40. Now, I'm not done yet. I have to get to 41. Can I add another 10? No, I can't. If I add another 10, I get to 50. That's too big. I want to stop at 41. So I'm going to go back and start adding by ones again. I'm going to add one. I get 41. Now, that's the magic number. That's the number I'm adding up to. Now that we've gotten here, we might think, oh, great, I'm done. But this is not the answer. 41 minus 28 is not 41 because we're taking 28 away from 41. The answer should be smaller than that. To find the answer, we have to look at the tens and ones. So let's get out one of our charts and let's count how many tens we have. I can look across here. I only see one ten. So I'm going to put a one there. Next, I'm going to look at my ones. I see one, two, three. I see three ones. We know that one ten is worth how many? Let's count by tens. Ten. That's it. So we're going to put a ten there. And I also know that three ones is also three. I'm going to take those two numbers and add them. My tens and my ones. 10 plus 3 equals 13. And so we find that 13 is the answer. I have 10, 11, 12, 13. If I'm looking on a hundreds chart, I can find that too. If I'm going backwards, I go 10. 11, 12, 13. It works. Let's try another one. 52 minus 25. Again, where do I start? Down here. That's right. And I start with my smaller number because we're going to be working our way up to the 52. We're going to be adding, using addition to get up to that larger number. Again, 25 is not a 10. So I'm going to start adding by ones until we get to 10. So add with me. 25 plus 1 is 26. If I add another one, I get 
27. Try it again. 28. Try it again. 29. And if I do one more, I get 30. Now 30 is a 10. Now I can start adding by 10s. If I add one 10 to that, I have 40. I'm trying to get to 52. I can add another 10 because 40 plus 10 is what? 50. That's right. Can I add any more 10s? No, because that would put me at 60. Again, too big. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to add 1s. I add 1, 1. I get 51. Still not there. And another 1, I get 52. Again, 52. That was the magic number. That's the number we were trying to get to. Now that we've gotten here, again, we're not finished because this is not the answer. Let's go back to our tens and ones. Let's add up our tens. I see one, two tens. So I'm going to put a two up there. Then I'm going to add my ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I have seven ones. Two tens is worth how much? Ten. 20. So I'm going to put a 20 there. Seven ones is, of course, worth seven. I'm going to add those two numbers together. 20 plus seven. Do you know the answer? 27. That's right. So the answer to our question, 52 minus 25, is 27. Again, let's look at a hundreds chart to prove it. If I'm going to start at 52 and go down to 25, I would go 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. If I were going the other way, if I were adding up, I would go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then I would add a 10 here and a 10 here. And again, that makes 27. Let's do one more question together. 70 minus 46. Who remembers where I start? What's the first thing I do? You got it right, didn't you? You start with that 46. You put it at the very beginning because we're going to be adding going up the number line to the bigger number. We're working our way up to 70, which happens to be a 10. This is not a 10. So let's start adding by ones until we get to that 10. 1 is 47. Another 1. 48. I'm getting closer. I add one more. I get 49. And I add one more and I get 50. So I'm up to my tens now and I can start adding tens until I get to 70. If I add one 10, I get to 60 because we know if we're adding 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, that's a, that's a one more 10 up. One more 10 is 70. And again, that's our magic number. But as a reminder, that's not the answer. We have to look at the tens and ones. Let's count our tens again. How many tens do I have? One, two. That's right. How many ones? Four. That's right. Two tens is worth how much? Count again by tens. Did you get 20? I bet you did. And four ones is worth how much? Four. Very good. And if we add those together, we know that 20 plus four equals four, which means our answer is 24. Again, I can prove this on a hundreds chart. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Just like we've done before. Now let's practice um, putting some numbers together with our place value. Let's because I think we need to understand how to do this to be able to solve these. Let's take the number 23. If I put a line in between those two numbers, I have two tens and three ones. Two tens, of course, is worth 20, and three ones, of course, is worth 3. So 23 would equal 20 plus 3. Look at this next one. How many tens and how many ones? 
hopefully you said seven tens and six ones. How much is seven? Oh, I just put the answer up. Seven tens is worth 70. Six ones we know is worth six, which means that 76 equals what? 70 plus six. Very good. Let's do another one. 98. If I draw a line between that, what do I get? How many tens? Nine. And how many ones? Eight. And how much is nine tens worth? Do you remember? Count by tens nine times. Did you get 90? I bet you did. And eight ones, of course, equals eight, which means that 98 equals 90 plus eight. Let's do one more and then we'll be done for the day. 45. If I draw a line between 45, how many tens? How many ones? Did you say four tens and five ones? If you did, you were right. And four tens is worth how much? 10, 20, 30, 40. And five ones, of course, is worth five. So we know that 45 equals 40 plus 5. That's it for the day. Thank you for joining me. Again, you are math makers. You're making math easier just by showing up. Thank you so much, and I can't wait to see you next time.